So here's a case for a radial axis. Uh, so I went femoral here. This is with a, a ruck or whatever they want to call it now, a uh, catheter. Um, so you can see this ipsilateral oblique. Um, so here you see uh, superior vesicle, um, prostate artery here. This is obturator, uh, internal pudendal. So got in, did a light injection, then a more forceful injection. You can kind of see things open up a little bit, but I'm not too concerned about that collateral because I didn't see it on light injection. Went over to the right side. Uh, this is a really difficult bifurcation. Um, I, it was a very difficult origin of getting into the internal iliac artery. I tried a ruck, a Simmons 1, a SOS 2, a regular glide wire, stiff glide wire. Um, finally, I just managed to get seated in there a SOS 2 catheter, and the run is okay, and I can see the prostate artery. Um, but then when I put my microcatheter in and started to try to select the prostate artery, that SOS 2 just didn't give me a lot of pushability, and you can see how much it's deformed um, when I uh, try to get in. And I wasn't even in the prostate at that point, but eventually I managed to get into the prostate um, and uh, it looked okay. But honestly, on that case, I wish I would have gone radial. Um, here's an interesting finding. So um, this was a person who I was embolizing. They're, they had a prostatectomy and they had for prostate cancer. Uh, they had recurrence at the surgical bed with invasion of the bladder, and they had hematuria. So we actually did this for bleeding. Um, so this isn't really a prostate. This is kind of a prostate mess that was invading the bladder here. But I got into this artery. Does anyone see this um, artery that's going down here? Does anyone know what that is? All right, here's another hint. <coughs> All right, so it's a testicular artery. So we did a cone beam to kind of prove it, and um, that was a, kind of just a bizarre one that I hadn't seen before. Um, did you embolize the testicle? I did, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was pretty small, and I wasn't too concerned about it. I used large, it was for hematuria, I used a little larger particles, and I wasn't too concerned about it. He didn't complain about his testicle afterwards, so. 